Hello my fellow teabags, Cinemix77 coming at you today from the YouTube channel. Um, I know it's been a whole hot moment since I've actually done a knife video per se, but uh, sorry about that. Uh, True Blue reason is uh, I'm actually run out of folders to talk about other than like the True Blue POS folders that I have. Uh, and... The only reason why I had those because they were every single one that I have left were all gifts from a family. So I might do a video on those. I'm not sure yet. And also, uh, I need to uh, be like the true blue uh, YouTube homie that I is, and uh, I need to sit there and make. Uh, more videos uh, uh actually not more videos but need to start making vr videos for, for all my cool friends that are in the uh cgc contest um uh, and stuff like that so uh i actually have to sit there and uh go get a pumpkin sometime soon and uh do something wicked awesome with uh, a bunch of stuff so yeah that'd be that uh, so that's what my main concentration is going to try to be on that in the weekly shout out videos uh, until this contest is over with uh, or until I get some new folders or whatever comes along the way uh, I might do some videos about uh, things like my tomahawks and my fixed blades uh, but I'm not sure so let's get on to what this video is about now a couple weeks ago brother exacto put out a video which was basically uh, knifeology 101 uh, whatever you want to call it uh uh knife anatomy there we go knife anatomy 101 and he went over uh the various uh standardized parts of a working folding knife for knife novices and noobs and i thought to myself that's one hell of a cool concept so i'm going to jump on his bandwagon and uh, I'm going to continue the schooling uh, to help further the education of knife noobs, novices, and just for the general uh, entertainment of the people in the YouTube knife community. Because, who knows, y'all might find something out in my videos that y'all never knew. Uh, so... I am going to be doing Knife History 101 and I'm going to start off with knife companies because we all enjoy and we all have our favorite knife companies uh, the most recognized favorite knife company in the YouTube community is Spyderco so that's who we're going to start off with okay Okay, now, uh, uh, you know, hence the whole knife porn background of the spider codes and birds and stuff. So let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, Y'all know me, I like to go into specs uh, before I do anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and do some specs uh, of the spider Co Corporation. Uh, now, what type of corporation is it? It is a proprietorship uh, in the industry of manufacturing, founded in 1978, headquarters, Golden, Colorado, USA, Earth. Uh, key people in the company is Sal Glesser, president and founder. Uh, the product, knives. Annual revenue is $10 million with 
a grand total of 38 workers. Not bad, Sal. Not bad at all, homie. Uh, congratulations on all your success. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go into the actual history of it. The first product that Sal Glesser uh, sold in the uh, uh, in any type of industry was a thing a product called the portable hands now the portable hands was a spider-like invention uh, that consisted of ball joints flat plates wing nuts alligator clips and a weighted stand uh, which basically would be similar to something like this but theirs actually had eight arms on it with the clips on it that they uh, made and manufactured for hobbyists and jewelers. So their first product as Spyderco, which the portable hands was how they got the name Spyderco because of its spider-like appearance, wasn't a knife. It was one of these. Pretty cool. I think so. So... Uh, and that was in 1976, if I didn't say that. And later on down the road, uh, Sal and his wife, Gail, uh, turned a bread truck into a mobile home uh, and traveled to different guns and knife shows throughout 1978 and selling, uh, selling knife sharpeners. And in 1981, Spydeco put out uh, its first uh, knife, the uh, C01 worker and it was the first knife with the uh, spidey hole and it was also the first one-handed uh, open pocket knife with a pocket clip now uh, I will put a link to a picture in the description box so you can see what it looked like and to me in my eyes it kind of is a cross between a kiwi and a delica uh, and with a little bit, and I do mean a little bit of the uh, dodo thrown in the mix. It's kind of a cool, funky word knife. It was done in all stainless. It's an awesome little blade. Uh, and let's see what else. Uh, also, uh, you know, Spyderco has, you know, paved the way when it comes to many and I do mean many a different uh, styles designs uh, locking mechanisms stuff like that uh, their innovative uh, ways have really uh, propelled the knife industry in a very much needed direction um, and throughout the years that they have been going uh, so they've been going 34 years now uh, and out of the 34 years that they have been operating, they have had uh, 30, uh, let's see, yeah, 30 different collaborations with custom knife makers. And they have used over 20 different types of materials in the making of their products. So, yeah, that is the uh, basis. And, uh, Let's see. Yeah. That's it, y'all. That's really it, man. Uh, not too bad. They uh, started out in Golden, Colorado in 1978. And they are still located in Golden, Colorado. Uh, they've put out one hell of a product. Uh, the uh, For those of y'all who are not aware of it, the... Uh, Clip It Line uh, was Spider Co.'s very first uh, production line of knives. Uh, and this was the common look for the common model. Uh, you know, FRN, you know, the uh, clip molded into the uh, handle, uh, stuff like that. This is, a, obviously, this is a knockoff. And as usual, phone goes off. So, uh, one second, y'all. Hey, baby, what's up? Hey, how you doing? 
uh, I'm making a video and you're going to be a part of it because I'm not reshooting it. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. Uh, love you, sexy baby. Love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> it never fails. Every time I make a video, man, every time, phone goes off. Uh, and I'm sorry, but I can't ignore that one. That's the missus. But yeah, that's it, y'all. That is the history of Spider Co. It's kind of hard that they, uh, it's kind of hard to believe that a uh, sell started off selling something like this and wound up with all this. So, yeah, yeah, uh, and I do believe that the uh, next video is going to be over Bird as well. Uh, so I can do a quick little thing to it. It's going to be a continuation to this one, pretty much. So that's it for now, y'all. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope this has entertained as well as educated. Uh, once again, man, thank you very much. Uh, I hope y'all have an awesome day. Keep your finger in the troll. And keep it safe, y'all. Bye.